On the western shore of Staten Island, Fresh Kills gained infamy as the world's largest landfill. When it was closed in 2001, the New York City Departments of Sanitation, Planning, and Parks and Recreation began preparing the land for its total transformation into a public park. The conversion will occur over the next few decades. Presently, the urban park rangers offer free guided tours of the 22,000 acre site. All you have to do to get your sneak peek is sign up. What this park really is about is a model for taking a landscape that has really been despoiled and turning it into something extraordinary. I think the whole idea is to kind of eradicate the concept that this is a landfill and view it as a future park. And we're using the greenest techniques you can use, the most cutting edge technology, really trying to be an example of how we can reclaim parts of the city that we, we spoiled before. And that's really, that's a major mission of this park. I took my kids to Fresh Kills because we were doing a two week unit on trash and we started out talking about the problems that trash creates and now we're talking about solutions. So we took them here to see what happens to a landfill after it's capped. The garbage is covered by several feet of soil or fill and then it is covered by an impermeable membrane of plastic and that membrane is actually waterproof and so nothing that is below that membrane can get out. Then on top of that membrane are at least two and sometimes three and sometimes four feet of very clean soil and that clean soil is right now holding kind of just native plants to Staten Island and will eventually hold all different kinds of plantings. The idea I think is to turn it into a 21st century urban landscape uh, that will be productive and active. Uh, so it's really a, a new type of park for the 21st century. Not often do you get to see the birth of a park. Central Park was very much like this in the sense that Everything you see in Central Park was designed and placed there. It's not natural. And this park will be very similar in that sense. And it's wonderful to get to see something at its birth that will last several hundred years. A park ranger is with us explaining what we're seeing as we go. Um, they get to see how high the garbage is. They get to actually be out in the air. They're seeing the animals that have started to come back. As we look around, you can see as nature begins to take over and take back, reclaim, uh, this is going to be an amazing spot. We want to try to make it self-sustaining so that the site generates its own energy. As natural garbage decomposes, it generates landfill gas. There are over 10,000 linear feet of pipes which collects the landfill gas. The landfill gas then is transferred into the purification plant and then is processed. Basically, we take and separate out the methane, which is the, the gas that's of interest. The gas then is transferred to Keyspan, which in turn uses it for Staten Island homes and residents. This provides both environmental and economic benefits to the city, by preventing greenhouse gases and also generating revenues. What is going on here is a transformation of a really degraded piece of New York City into what's gonna be a phenomenally beautiful park. So check out our website and come on our tours. Come see this extraordinary landscape.